so nothing changes for now. Shouldn't bank stocks have liked that sort of uh, assessment? Uh, well, I think uh, given that this was his first you know, uh, press conference as now BOG, BOJ head, you know, clearly is a similar, you know, what he needed to do was exactly what he needed to do when he was in parliament, you know, while they were having the hearings on whether to appoint him, which is essentially don't move markets at all. So, you know, he didn't, you know, if somebody was looking maybe to you know, go strong the yen and looking for some tidbit, you know, he didn't offer any tidbit that would give it, you know, move the market one way or the other. You saw that the yen was flat. And I think so, so, banks, they, so in that sense, he was successfully presented himself and his the two deputies were also present you know very clearly very competent you know in charge but nothing you know there was almost nothing to to really go on in terms of new news and I think that's why why you're seeing bank stocks today also not moving really there's there was no new information that you could use to, to bet on you know based on what we heard yesterday on for example when they might change policy or how they're looking at the yeah. new how they're looking at policy I, I think really we're, we just are, we're exactly where we were uh, you know, a week ago in terms of, you know, we know that uh, Weta and his two deputies are, are you know, competent and they're, they're, you know, they'll take a new approach, but we're not really, you know, we don't really know yet specifically what they might think of. Indeed. So uh, I guess you could say that they're sort of reacting in disappointment that nothing is changing uh, just yet. Uh, how do you see things uh, evolving, Michael, and also when? Is it going to be gradual, uh, uh, bit by bit? Uh, or is it going to be sort of big bang and let it all go and throw YCC out the window? Because, I mean, the, the problem with the whole gradualist approach is, let's say they go another 25 basis points on YCC, plus minus 75 either side. That's just going to be blood in the water for, for bond speculators, no? Again. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I, I think one thing, you know, my, my impression, you know, looking at Mr. Weta, you know, it, it, in his conferences so far, and just to compare him to Mr. Kuroda previously, is as you know, Mr. Kuroda, when he came in ten years ago, you know, had there was a Bank of Japan a, a somewhat specific uh, mandate from from the government, or you know, specifically from from uh, Mr. Abe, you know, as head of LDP, but, you know, for a certain type, you know, very you know, uh, ex, ex, expansive monetary policy and new, new monetary policy, and in that sense, it was you could say it was top down. Of course, you know, they had the debate within the monetary policy committee. There were some dissenting voices within the committee, but but Mr. Kuroda, you know, gave a very strong, you know, kind of indication of where the direction would be. In contrast, you know, the feeling that, I, that I've had from Mr. Ueda so far is that he really is much more, maybe you could call it data dependent, but it really is situation dependent. And he doesn't have a fixed idea of what the appropriate monetary policy settings are, but rather that they, you know, that he's, he's you know, knowledgeable and, and competent that he, you know, he can judge based upon what, what the, whatever the situation happens to be. Uh, but but I think he's going to draw in more of the full, you know, the all of the voices on the Monetary Policy Committee and try to look at it with an open mind. Hi, I'm Emily Tan and thanks for watching CNBC. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.